Hi, my name is Just Train, and I've been in India for over one month. So pretty much, that makes me an expert on everything and anything to do with India. <laughs> so I decided to compile a list of things that I love about India. And I know there's a guy lying in my bed, but it's just Joe Jonas. Say, hi Indian Joe Jonas. Hello. <laughs> Sounds just like him. <laughs> First things first is the food. I mean, there's so many authentic Indian restaurants here. Now the Indian food that you get in India is so much better than the Indian food that I get in Canada. I have no idea why. Huh. Nope, no idea. That oil dough. The natural beauty. Currently, I'm in Punjab, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Farms, the fields, the rivers, the sunlight, the weather, the sights and sounds, and of course, the overall greenery. Sugar canes. Now, this is the first time I've ever tried sugar canes in my whole life, and I love it. Sure, they might end up breaking your teeth, but it's all worth it to have that deliciously good fiber inside of you. You know you're not supposed to eat it, right? <laughs> what? You're not supposed to swallow the sugar cane. You're supposed to chew on it, get the juice in, and then throw the stuff out. Otherwise, you don't poop for a week. Oh. So that's why. The butt wash holes. One time, I ran out of toilet paper in the bathroom. So I had to make one of the toughest decisions I've had to make in my whole life. <laughs> but it ended up being one of the best decisions I've made in my whole life. <laughs> Yeah, I'm almost done. Oh, maybe I'm watching. Just give me like two seconds. Nigga, ba. Nigga. Shit. I should probably get up now. I've never felt so clean. No helmets! <laughs> it's like this country was made for me! You can ride whatever you want, a bike, a scooter, a noka, and I can keep my turban game crispy, me! Hey girl, I'm gonna take you out nice, some fine dining, we're gonna hit up the five-star hotel, put on your nice pair of jeans. I'm coming to pick you up on my Bajaj Vespa, no helmet required. Res res respect. Limited rules, you can do whatever the frick you want here and no one really bats an eye. I mean, I've seen bad parking jobs, traffic rules that are horrible, dudes pissing everywhere. And this, yes, that is a family with their little baby on a scooter on the highway. <laughs> India, what the f And even if the cops do bother you, you just hand them the right amount of paperwork and they'll file it accordingly and all your problems. Getting stuff for cheap. You can get anything in India for literally less than the tenth of the price of something you get in Canada. Suits, sarian, jackets, pants, jewelry. For an example, I just grabbed these, uh, I just caught me a new pair of Jordans. Um, sure they might be a little bit dusty, feel like cheap recycled plastic, and are a pair of two left feet, but who cares? I mean, I got this for like 80,000 rupees, which is like... <sighs> If the dollar is equal to 52 rupees, then math, 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 mathematics, figure out, calculations. It's like three dollars! That's nothing! <laughs> it's fantastic, it's so great. <laughs> Free time to do whatever the heck you want. Listen, if you have land and if you have money, or if you're like a corrupt public figure with a lot of political connections, then you are literally pretty much sitting on a billion dollars. And a billion dollars in India can get you a long way to doing absolutely all the nothings of all your choices. Joe! Come here. Oh. He's like a pet. Hello. Joe, tell me what a typical day consists for you. 
Okay, so I wake up in the morning really early like at 10ish or 11 Then I ask my servant to cook me some breakfast and Then I eat breakfast and I take a shower Then I am tired from breakfast and the shower so I take a nap Then after I take my nappy I go uh, to the chair with my friends and then we all hang out in our cars. And then we come back home and it's so tiring. So then I have to eat something. By that time it's dinner time. So I have to eat dinner and then I lie on the bed while uh, the servants, they rub my back and they rub my feet because I'm so tired from the day's work. So who does all of your work? We have people from UB and Bihar doing all the work. So pretty much like Mexicans, but cheaper. Get and last but not least, on a serious note, my favorite place that I spent time here was the Golden Temple. It was absolutely amazing. I had a chance to spend one night there, and it was one of the most memorable nights of my entire life. And not even that, just the people in India are so warm and welcoming and inviting. I mean, even if someone has barely nothing to give, they will still invite you and cook for you, and give you anything that you need. <laughs> that selflessness is just mind-blowing to me. A community of people that allows other people to experience such a beautiful, inviting, and warming, and rich culture. Like even my buddy Sikandar here, Joe Jonas, he's done a lot for me. Give him a round of applause, man. This guy showed me around and took care of me properly and I can't think of enough for that. And I know I make a lot of jokes, but I honestly do mean it in all seriousness when I say that this has been one of the most beautiful experiences of my life. It's a beautiful thing to see where my parents have come from, where my parents' parents have come from, where my beautiful language, Punjabi, was derived, where my history is, where my people have been through, their struggles, their sacrifices, their triumphs. All in all, it's a beautiful experience and I can't wait for the next time that I'm back. I'm really gonna get a little bit santy when I have to leave back to Canada to the freaking bitter cold shit. So thanks again for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you click subscribe and check out next week's video, which is going to be pretty much the opposite of this video. Don't get mad. Check out my last video. Check out my second channel where I'm making vlogs here in Punjab. You can see all the buffoonery that I've been up to while I'm here. And uh, that's pretty much it. Okay. Bye. Say bye, Joe. Bye bye. Ladies. I mean, am I right or what? <laughs> Shut up.